bring the garbage can over there and then I'll power wash the outside first. Um, make sure it's all clean, um, ready to go. And then I'll clamp the arms together and then lift it up over the, over top the nozzle. And, uh, and then the, I'll turn the nozzle on and the nozzle spins around and cleans the entire inside and uh, keep, gets it nice and clean. How long does it, the whole thing take? Uh, probably about five minutes with a really dirty one, but probably about three minutes with a pretty clean one. I love how conscientious you are that you always inspect to see what it, what it looks like. Yeah, so every once in a while I'll have a, a little spot or something that won't get completely clean. So I could either take this wand, wand out and put it in here to just to get certain little spots or I can put it back over the big nozzle. Um, but I like to inspect, make sure it's, make sure it's not terrible still. You know, you keep, Keep it clean as I can get it. Um, so I, I always do a double check, make sure it's good. So we were just online, um, came across like a different one, trailer just like this. Um, we seen it. Um, we were kind of like, it's, it's a good idea. There's nothing like this um, really around Waverly when we found it. Um, and we were like, it's a good idea because uh, no one really does it so we kind of started looking into it and a company in Florida actually makes this trailer um, so we contacted them and got the ball moving um, to get the trailer and we did all the graphics it takes a lot of effort um, a, lot of, a lot of time a lot of, a lot of uh, brain thoughts into it and really thinking um, just like managing my time, making sure I have time to get all the jobs done in the day and um, making sure the customer's happy clean the garbage can. Who cleans the garbage cans in your house? <laughs> um, I guess now I do, but um, my dad probably used to, but now since I got the trailer, I gotta, gotta go to our house every monthly and clean the garbage can, make sure it's clean, it smells good. a pretty tricky process um, we went through lots of options um, we just kind of landed on blasting bins because um, I don't know I thought it sounded good I thought it was a good name I thought we should, we should take that and just roll with it and it tells the story right yeah. of what it is that you so do it, once I, uh, I really grow and get going um, they make bigger bigger they make a truck actually with not a trailer like a truck just like this just you got a motor on it and it's a truck um but that's probably end goal have a couple trucks really grow the business get into different towns stuff like that what do you tell what do you tell people when when, when you tell them that you have a business what's the reaction that you get from your peers and other friends when they hear that you have your own business um, my peers were pretty surprised when I started out. Um, I was kind of telling them about it. Um, they weren't really set or like didn't have the right, didn't realize that I was actually starting my own business. They were like, yeah, yeah. They like they didn't really believe me. I don't know. It was kind of tough to get them get them to know I was really starting this and I was really gonna go for it. And I was really gonna take a long shot at it. Um, but. Now they've been they've been supportive and um, like to support me in the business and 